And if your coach says he doesn't allow it, you can tell him to follow the channel. Welcome to the channel. My name is Aiden McIntyre. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. I haven't put out any videos in a while, but I'm super excited to get back into creating YouTube content. And we're going to get started with what's in my baseball bag for the 2023 baseball season. So last year I was with the Oakland Athletics and this spring I was a free agent. I'm super excited to announce that I'll be playing for the Chicago Dogs in the American Association League this year. Um, the season starts May 12th and I'm really excited to get back out on the field. So a lot of the stuff that I'll be showing you guys, the equipment that I use, I actually have discount codes for on my website, which is AidenMcIntyre.com. So go check that out. And while you're there, I am offering online training as well as mechanical analysis. If you are interested in training online, be sure to fill out a contact form and I will get back to you. But if you just want a mechanical analysis, use code YouTube for 10% off and we will do a whole breakdown. We'll get a 30 minute Zoom call and we'll tell you what you need to do to improve your mechanics. So now we'll get started on what's in my bag for the 2023 season. All right, so the first thing for every pitcher is your baseball glove. I have a collection. I'm a big fan of legacy gloves. These two are both legacy gloves. This one is the newest one. Got this one last year. I've always wanted a baby blue glove and I was really happy with the color and how it came out. The detail in it is awesome. If you're interested in looking for a new glove, Legacy is awesome. The other one I have with me is A2000. Very popular brand. This and like Rawlings are the top two and I use this one a lot. Personally, just like kind of is a catch play glove right now. In total, I have four gloves and I'll be taking all of them out to season with me because you can never have enough baseball gloves. Next up, I have all of my baseball cleats. I have these ones, which are Nike Hirachis. These are the short ones. So I usually use these as like my everyday catch play. Um, I don't usually use these in game, but I like them so much that these are the same exact ones in high top. So. On the road, I'll wear these with the gray uniforms. In my opinion, they're the most comfortable, lightweight, and also like I like that they're high ankle support for pitching, but they're also super light because sometimes pitchers and cleats can get a little bit bulky. So I use these on the road. These are my personal favorites. They're the same exact cleat, but I got them customized by Stadium Custom Kicks. Um, so this was last year. As you guys can see, paint splatter. I have a little bit of green and gold which doesn't exactly go with this year's team, but these are still my favorite and these will be my at-home cleats um, that I'll use for home games. So this gets into my everyday essentials. I have a little like lacrosse ball peanut. This is to roll out your lat, back, all of that stuff. And then the actual things I use to throw. So I have Jager bands. I actually recommend getting the kids one, the youth ones, because sometimes these are honestly more of a workout than they're supposed to be. So I actually use the kid ones. Then we have all of our plyo balls. So I have the full kit in season though. I really only use green, red, and blue. So these are my three in season that I use, particularly green and blue I use every single day. Red I kind of mix in for higher effort days. Besides that, these are my other throwing tools. These are the Clean Fuego tools. If you haven't tried these, I definitely recommend them. They're one of my favorite tools for guys to work on spin efficiency. So if you're a guy who cuts it or even gets inside of the baseball a little bit too much, this can help you kind of work on backspinning and pulling down. And I like that they have what feels like seams on the side of them. So this is the equivalent of a baseball weight. And then this is an overload. I believe it's seven ounces. You can also throw off speed with them. I haven't exactly mastered the changeup with it yet. I usually throw with these every day just to make sure I'm getting behind the baseball and kind of pulling it down. This is a back wrap. This is made by Hyper Ice. It's like their Venom line. What it is, is it's a back wrap and a like heater and massager. I use it because my back gets super tight, especially if you're like sitting in the bullpen or something like that. So I usually have it as I'm getting ready to warm up. Kind of heats up your back, has a little bit of a massage on it. Feels very nice. I will not say it's an essential, but I definitely do recommend it. So these are some other non-essential essentials that you should have as a pitcher. We're gonna start with hacky sack. We usually hacky sack for about 30 minutes to an hour every single day during the season. Season gets long and, and you don't always wanna do your active warm up the same routine every single day. So we usually use this in our active warm up. I've gotten better at it. I haven't played it in a while, so I'll probably be pretty bad at it again, but I definitely recommend a hacky sack if you're not using it. And if your coach says he doesn't allow it, you can tell them to follow the channel. Some other ones we have are smelling salts. Don't use this if you're under 18. I don't recommend them for children and they will not make you throw harder, but they are a great tool for velo days, high intent days and things like that. So use at your own caution. This is Atomic Rhino and then this side is West Side Barbell. With that, we have Atomic Balm. This stuff is extremely hot. So when you use it, you have to use a glove. So don't 
if you ever use this because you use it on my channel, don't use your hand. You have to get a glove. You rub it into your arm, it heats up your arm. I like to use it usually actually on my back, shoulder. This is very helpful, especially if it is cold out. So if you play somewhere where it's cold, I definitely recommend getting this stuff. If your arm hurts bad enough that you need this all over your forearm, you probably shouldn't be using it or throwing. Um, if you do put it on your low back and then you are sweating a lot, it does have a tendency to run. Um, so just be careful. It does hurt really bad and it's very hard to get off of you. So good luck. All right, so another thing I recommend for season is an emotional support animal. So this is Nala, and she comes with me for season. Uh, we haven't trained her to be a bat dog yet, but maybe we'll work on that. We're still working on fetch, but she is a very good girl. So she will be traveling with us for the opening of the season in Chicago, um, and then she will be learning how to play fetch at some point in this off season. All right, so that is it for what is in my baseball bag for the 2023 season. If you are a pitcher, these are the essentials that I recommend. And if you're looking for a discount code, they'll be on the website as well as training. So if you want a mechanical analysis, 10% use YouTube as the code. As we get out to season, we will be putting out some more vlogs as well as throwing routines and stuff like that. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'm excited to get back to making more content for you.